I'm Hayley Bell. I'm founder of Women Riders World Relay. Hello to everyone in the big biking commune. It's great to be a part of this. Hope you're all okay. So, um, my passion for biking started when I was a child, really. Um, I was introduced to it, but I didn't actually start riding until five years ago. Um, so when I was 24, 20, 24, 23, really, started learning. Um, and when I was a kid, I was uh, sort of immersed in it a little bit. Um, my cousin used to ride bikes, my, my dad rode bikes, my brother rode bikes. Um, and I was never allowed one because I was a bit reckless as a child. So uh, I was safer in four wheels, apparently, although that didn't quite go to plan for my parents either. But, um, so yeah, I, I didn't actually start riding until I'd sort of settled into a uh, a house that I, and a, a country that I was going to stay in for more than a few months, which I tended to flip around quite a, li a lot when I was younger, and uh, started riding my first bike, which was a, a Kawasaki ER6N, um, 600cc, uh, when I was 24, and, and that was it. Uh, I was hooked. There's a lot to do still, um, but uh, in the five years I've been riding, I've, I've done all of the UK. Um, I've uh, done 10,000 miles in two weeks across the United States. Um, I've done the UAE, uh, I've done Spain, um, and yeah, there's a hell of a lot more countries that I need to visit, uh, but it gets expensive. <laughs> so we'll wait for that one. <laughs> Okay, so um, a little about Women Riders World Relay. Women Riders World Relay was a an event, essentially, that was set up to um, wow the industry into realising the amount of fem female riders there were out there. And this this was a, a an event that happened at the right time uh, with the right people um, for the right reason uh, and. Uh, basically what we did was in an Olympic style fashion we passed a, a baton from woman to woman country to country via legs of a journey on their motorcycles so a woman would take the baton at the start of the day and they'd have to do a set route and they'd pass it on to the next group of women um, and we used to do legs day-long rides uh, across different countries and then we would pass it over to the next country and, and we did that and, and what we actually achieved was um, we crossed 80 countries in one year. Uh, we have a, a group of over 20,000 female riders um, based across more than 100 countries around the world. Um, and Women Riders World Relay was really more than what we ever sort of anticipated that it was. It turned into a, um, a global connection and a global um, exchange of, of information, of inspiration, of um, friendship, of uh, culture of you know all these different aspects and it really opened up a lot of people's eyes to the, to the motorcycle scene for women and um, so it really became more than what we ever anticipated it to be originally um, the reason why I started Women Riders World Relay was um, I felt that women were under under um, what's the word underrepresented is the word <laughs> Uh, within the industry and um, I really wanted to show that there was a market out there and that female riders weren't necessarily just pillions and they weren't necessarily bad riders or stereotypical you know what we see in the media uh, I wanted a different representation of, of female riders and I wanted the, the world to see that females can ride and they can ride well and that they, they come in all different shapes and sizes and you know cultures and backgrounds and and um i think our our aim was was achieved really um and and more so the the biggest thing that came out of women riders well relay was the connections and, and the friendships and the as i say just being having your eyes open to a hundred different countries cultures is really um amazing to bear witness and and to you know traverse across 80 countries uh, and see the different terrains and the different routes and the different styles of riding and the different, you know, um, bikes that they use and, and what's, you know, 
used mainly in one country is completely different to what's used mainly in another, in another country. So it really did become uh, a completely new entity um, uh, and the passion and the, and, the, and the glue that really held us all together was, was this motivation to show the world women can ride. Uh, my thoughts on the Indian biking community um, was, uh, again, really reiterating this eye-opening uh, side of things. So when we started Women Ride As Well Relay, we knew that we'd have a big culture in America, in Australia, in the UK. Um, two of the countries that really shocked us and it was like a, a wave had just hit when, when word of mouth caught in India and in South Africa. Um, these people just came flooding in and it was like one day I, I started getting a few dribs of, of women coming through from, from India into the group and by the end of the day there was thousands of them. The word of mouth and, and the sort of sense of community that come through, that shone through from the Indian biking community, it is it was amazing to, to sort of see and I was sat behind my desk sort of watching watching the group numbers coming through and, and all these female bikers from India were just flying through. So it like the the sense of community community and the, the sort of sharing of the word and you can just tell that it's a very close close community in India. Um, and it was really brilliant to see and to see all the different bikes as well, like the Royal Enfields and everything. It was it was fantastic to sort of bear witness to that. Um, I'm yet to ride in India. So I can't comment too much on it. I'd love, I'd love to make a trip out there and, uh, and you know, witness the the beautiful landscapes that that I witnessed from a computer screen, watching the videos back from the Indian legs of WRWR. Um, you know, the culture and the people in India that I've um, shared connections with it is beautiful. So it is some place that I would love to go and visit one day, definitely, and, and ride through. A message to women seeking biker opportunities. Uh, it depends what opportunities you're, you're seeking, really. But um, if you've got if you've got a passion for something, um, and it's all you ever think about, and and I, th I know a lot of bikers feel the same way as you know, you work to get out on your bike. You you know you, you, you're always wondering when your next ride's going to be because it's that sense of. Um, stress relief and freedom and um, adventure and uh, if you've got a passion for something that you that you try and achieve for just a short limit of time and the rest of the time you spent working in a job that you hate or whatever then just just go for it if you've got an idea that's that you think that is going to add value to um, your community and, and your industry uh, and something that you feel passionate about then just go for it. It's, you know, what, what have you got to lose? We, we spend our days, you know, sat in offices and working the grind. And yeah, you've got to, you've got to make the bills and things. But if, if you want, if you, if you take something that you're passionate about, then you will do well in it. So if you're looking for opportunities within the bike industry in, in a commercial sense, then just go for it. Yeah, just think about what it is, get feedback because the community's out there and it's, it's got a voice. So make sure you speak with people and, and get feedback from them, um, get their opinions, do your market research. Um, and they're all, they're all ears, they, they'll listen. Um, the community, as you know, is, is very open. So um, if you're looking for, for ideas or um, inspiration, have a look at the, the different things that people are doing as well. At the minute, there's a lot of female uh, business owners that are setting up motorcycle clothing shops basically bore out the same um, frustrations as, as what we face as females on a daily basis. Is, you know, if there's no gear out there that, that we see, see suitable for us or that we like, then these women are doing something about it and they're actually setting up their own, their own business, designing stuff that they like in the hope that, you know, somebody else might like it as well and that it adds variety to um, the industry and in the, in, in the gear section. So yeah, on a commercial sense, think about it, plan it, speak about it, um, get feedback from it and, and go for it. Um, a different sense, um, I think it's really important for females to feel comfortable and confident in what they're doing on a motorcycle. Um, it's part of the reason why I set up Women Riders World Relay was to 
to create that community so that um, we've got a fun and safe and uh, adventurous uh, community, be, community to be a part of. And um, the fact that females were relating to each other in different countries and they were getting inspiration from people because they were a sa the same age, they had the same circumstances, the same background, um, but they might be on a, on a different continent to you. Um, the fact that they're a female you can you can relate to them and they've been through similar things as you you can relate to them and you know they were seeing one woman doing you know motocross riding and uh, riding through the desert and they thought well why can't i do that i'm the same height i'm the same you know i've, I've got the same bike or whatever so we were taking inspiration from very real individuals um so if you're looking for uh, bike opportunities in terms of um trying something new or or adventuring um Again, speak speak to the community, ask for advice, see if anybody's in the same position as you, because I can guarantee there will be somebody out there who wants to try off-roading or wants to try grass tracking or flat tracking or something and buddy up with somebody, you know, make, make a new friend and, and go out there and say, I, I want to try this. Does anybody else want to try this? All right. And then you've got somebody to do it with you. So it's, it's you're not starting. Um, on your own you've got somebody who can share that experience with you and go through the same process as you so i'd say just buddy up with somebody and and talk about it and uh and yeah go out and ride your bike <laughs> so the, the the very obvious topic um at the minute uh is uh, the covid19 situation um i'm not a med medical professional so i'm not going to comment on anything like that um but all i'd say is just just be kind to people. Um, if you've got, you know, friends or whatever that you haven't heard from in a while, they might be suffering. Uh, so give them a call. Um, and likewise, if you've got, you know, yourself, if you, if you yourself, like I have, struggled with um, being in isolation and um, coping with that dramatic change in your lifestyle, the only way that I've sort of kept going with it is just keep busy, like just keep finding, whether it's cleaning the house or tinkering with your bike. I mean, I'm very fortunate that I had a couple of projects on my motorcycle to do during lockdown and I've, I've joked with my partner about if I didn't have them, I would have gone do lally through it. But, you know, I, I'm, al I'm almost tempted now to break something just so that I can fix it. <laughs> so I have something else to do so yeah just keep busy and and keep that you know community together and just be kind to people just uh, you know offer offer a, a helping hand and and I can guarantee that you'll get satisfaction from that as well if you if you reach out to somebody that you think is struggling or in need of of a chat um yeah you know you're going to take something from that as well so um it's a win-win situation really keep your friends close um and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we will come out at the end of it. Um, we're starting to see some improvements uh, now. So, you know, who knows? Biking, biking tours could be open this time next year.